Day two of the Demaxion sleep schedule is over. We have made it. Barely. The Demaxion sleep schedule, as a recap from yesterday, is one where you sleep in 30 minute time periods four times per day, equaling up to two hours, which is quite a bit less than the normal eight hours that people strive for. And it's something that for me, my schedule is at 2.30 a.m., 8.30 a.m., 2.30 p.m., and 8.30 p.m. The word demaction comes from three words, dynamic, maximum, tension, and actually has nothing to do with sleep. It comes from a guy named Buckminster Fuller, who was born in 1895, and he created this sleeping schedule around the 1940s, I believe that's when he practiced it, and he did it for about two years, he said, successfully surviving on only two hours of sleep every single day. He named quite a few different things to Maction, and so this name picked up as a part of this type of sleep pattern as well. So, how have I been doing on it? Well, yesterday I was doing very good if you saw the video. If not, you can be able to click back and watch day one. And then I did, I, I felt great until I went to sleep at 2.30 and woke up at 3 yesterday. And you may want to see this video right here just to sort of see how I was feeling a little bit at 3 something in the morning. Hey, this is Ryan. It's 3.27 on Monday morning, early Monday morning. I have just got done with my first uh, 2.30 sleep time for 30 minutes. And I think I've hit my first little hard period. Um, it's so hard for me to focus right now. So as you can see, my first period of waking up for the day wasn't the easiest, but I got up, got breakfast, went for a run on the treadmill, got ready for the day, and it was a little it was a little bit easier from that point forward. I, I sat down about five o'clock to read my Bible, and from five to six I was reading, but I had a couple intermittent times where I was not necessarily completely awake. So that was something that it's good to factor in in the observations of this. At eight thirty, I took a 30 minute sleep period and it went great at 2 30 was my next scheduled time I ended up doing it at 3 and that went good that went good as well I felt good after it at 8 30 I did it as well tonight and it even went better than it had last night on my later night uh, sleep cycle period so it went good I really I'm really liking it I'm really liking trying it out obviously it's just an experiment and it's something just to to try out I'm not interested in doing anything to hurt myself with it but I am interested in finding out if it's you know legit there are several people who have sworn by it so to answer some questions I did have one question that I'm going to answer today and it is from Rosie and she sent it to me on Twitter and her question it went like this how are you going to get your REM sleep if you only do 30 minutes at a time the natural sleep cycle is like 90 minutes I think the REM sleep particularly that's the most important sleep and it's something your body fights for and so for let's say for you if you don't get sleep one night or something happens and you're just really lacking on sleep and finally you get to go to bed and you have these crazy intense dreams that's because your body is catching up on that REM sleep and it pushes everything else aside in favor of that REM sleep so for me for these periods while some would argue that I'm still going Going through a circadian cycle, uh, circadian cycle, I I, sh I know that most of the time I'm getting REM sleep and I'm having very vivid dream-like sleeps for these different periods that I'm taking it. So I am getting my REM sleep, but my body is fighting for that, and because I'm trying to move my body to that schedule, it definitely is something that I'm having to get used to, and which is probably one of the biggest fights. So hope that answers your question. If you have a question, tweet me, post it down below. Um, thank you for watching, and this is going into day three. We're trying it for day f for 14 days. Let's see how it goes.